Greetings, Inquisitor. Welcome to the Holocron. This is the week 63 update for the Darth Loquitur account. I update this account's progress every week, show you what upgrades I make to characters, plans for the future, and you can follow along. We have a contest going on right now to try to increase subscriptions and Discord community on the channel. We've got a really great Discord. The link is in the description down below. Join us over there. You can learn more about the contest and how to win prizes if we meet our goals. Hope to see you over there soon. Really a great community. Can't brag about it enough. All right, with that, let's get into the account and see what happened this week. The target for the week was to relic the Magna Guard, get him to gear 13. We managed to get all of the gear together that we needed for that. And here he goes, gear 13. Now we are still trailing behind on getting these characters to the proper relic levels. So we're going to be able to put a few um, relic levels onto the Grievous or onto the Magna Guard, but uh, really we're not going to be able to take him up all the way to where he needs to be. We're going to stop on three. I really want to get fives to relic five. He takes a pretty good jump in his stats. We got that little clone team that we've worked on, so getting fives to relic five seems like an important thing. I would eventually like to take him to Relic 7, but we have so many other characters that we need to take up to higher Relic levels that I think 5s will be stuck at Relic 5 for quite some time to come. So we get him to, to the Relic 5, and then I go take a look at Yoda, and uh, we, we do want to continue to increase his Relics. we got to get him to 8, but we're out of the fragmented signal data already, so it's going to be... That's going to be it for the Relic levels for the week. Now, remember, just a week ago, we took Kenobi to Relic 8, so um, that used up all the Relic materials that we had at the moment. So it's not too bad. We'll get, we'll get that back underway. We'll talk about that a little bit more in the goals. Uh, we, took, we took Quill to Gear 12, and again, Quill's not part of the JMK journey, but he is a character that we want to continue to work on. Zam um, now has her Omicron, so we definitely need to get this character built up to take best advantage of that Omicron. We've got her 7th star, so as of this week, she's all the way to 7 stars. We get that finished out. Got her to gear 11. That's pretty good. Also not part of the JMK journey, but we very well might relic her uh, within the JMK journey. She needs Carbantes. I need Carbantes on a lot of different characters. That's really the bottleneck gear for this account right now. That and Kyrotex, the shock prods. So most of our farming is dedicated to those shock prods because we will get some of the Carbantes as we go along. We did get enough shock prods to lock down one of shock T's required gear pieces, but not enough to get the other one and get her leveled up this week. So... Maybe by next week we'll be able to, to get Shakti and other gear tier. Uh, we need to get Cody started. Uh, of course, he's part of the JMK journey, so at some point we have to get him up. Now, we're not going to mod him today. We're just going to kind of get his skills up to 7 and you know bring him up to where we can look at his gear pieces each week and, and start working on him. we still got Mace Windu that we need to get going as well. I'm almost out of credits and uh, I, I do kind of want to see about Kyle Katarn and get him up and running. So we hold off on that Mace Windu for now. Vulture Droid, get a fourth star on that. Imperial TIE Fighter, we now have our seventh star. We really need to work on that TIE Pilot, but we just haven't found the resources for him yet. And we're still a bit off, a ways off on needing the four fleets, so... It's not urgent, uh, so that uh, that gets going. We have Rex's ship. We have all the pieces we need for Rex's ship, but much like the regular credits, our shipbuilding materials are uh, running low. Only have about a million shipbuilding credits. We still got the Gauntlet Starfighter to build, so within the next couple weeks, uh, we will try to get that unlocked prior. Uh, again, assuming that I move up into Chromium, then you know we'll work on the Gauntlet and try to get that going as a as a viable ship. All right, so we we did what we could for the journey. We still have the armor ur that we're working on to try to help with the Sith Eternal um, and and get him to the point where he can counter SLKRs. 
Uh, she's still coming along slowly. We've only got six stars on her. And then we'll build this Kyle Katarn. We like our Mon Mothma team, and Kyle Katarn seems to fit well into the Mon Mothma team. We'd probably swap out Jyn Erso, run uh, Kyle, Cassian, K2SO, and then the Chupio that I run to, to spread the stats around. So again, we're just getting him started. Uh, we don't get many levels on him or gear tiers or anything, but it, it's just a start. And then, um, you know, over the next couple weeks, <clears throat> we'll get him modded. We'll get his levels finished out. We'll keep working on his skills and get him into that Mon Mothma team. Now, my Mon Mothma team is, is modded for Tenacity, so we will end up modding Kyle Katarn for Tenacity. Just be aware if you see me doing that. It's not because Tenacity is the right way to mod Kyle Katarn. It's just that's how he's going to fit into my Mon Mothma team. All right, so in terms of stats, week 63, <clears throat> we've gone up to 2.54 million galactic power, 40,000 more added. And most of that, again, was Cody uh, getting started and Kyle Katarn getting started. Starting new characters adds a lot of galactic power in a hurry. We've got 24 relics now with the IG-100 being relic, the Magna Guard. The Zetas are actually 37. Somebody pointed out last week I still had it at 36. But in order to put the Omicron on Zam, I did have to put the Zeta on her first. So that does take us up to 37 Zetas. In the squad arena, we're still getting top 50 with C and Watt. In the fleet arena, we're now battling for number two. An executor has shown up in the arena, and the executor is parked in the f number one spot. And apparently the player is unwilling to soften his fleet so the rest of us can have a shot at number one so it's become a matter of fighting for number two until such time as i get the executor into the account so for the project uh we're going to take two weeks and we're not going to actively work on relicking another character we're going to try to get yoda to relic eight uh, we don't have any of the Impulse dampeners right now, we we need a lot of Zen Biddle cards. So we're going to be farming a lot of Zen Biddle cards and a lot of materials for the impulse detectors. And um, I think two weeks, I'm not sure if we'll make it in two weeks because it's really a lot of materials that we have to farm and crunch up to get that uh, to get those materials going. But uh, again, I have several characters that need to go to Relic 7 still. But if I can get this uh, second Relic 8 out of the way, uh, it allows me to take advantage of the high Relic Yoda for a long period of time. If I have to take him to Relic 8, I would rather do it sooner, have him in the account and be able to use that for Grand Arena rather than you know making that the last thing I do. So we are going <clears> to <throat> make that our next target for two weeks. Within those two weeks, uh, I think passively I can still work on <clears throat> getting some materials for Qui-Gon Jinn. And he'll be our next relic target. And hopefully week 66, we can set another one-week relic target and, you know, get him up and running at gear 13. For the next week for the farms, we'll have the Vulture Droid, Hyena Bomber, BTL, the TIE Bomber. All those pilotless ships, we're just farming them up. Still got the armor and Bo-Katan to work on. In fleet, we're also farming the Rebel Y-Wing, and that's it. Again, if we're going to set these aggressive relic targets on our characters... All of that fleet energy has to go to farming relic materials or gear 13. In the cantina, just be working on signal data. We may have to take a small break just to get enough to unlock the um, Super Commando and um, uh, Gar Saxon for the Gauntlet Starfighter. Those characters, I've been looking for them out of the shops and expected maybe I could buy them with Guild Event tokens. But uh, really, I haven't seen them showing up in there at all. So uh, not even close to where I need to be getting those guys up and running for the gauntlet. So that's going to be a little bit longer and harder of a project than I had anticipated. But uh, we'll still try to make it work. We'll still work on those guys and maybe have to spend a little cantina energy as well. Uh, in terms of mods, we're farming speed. We're going to be on a long cycle farming speed till we get some extras in the bank. For refreshes, we're doing mods, energy, fleet energy every day. Cantina, we're refreshing uh, on the days where the guild objective is for all energy or for Cantina energy. Prestige, I'm only buying three a week out of the store right now. We are 
focusing on farming some of that gear that's now at the bottom of the squad arena store and that's all for relic materials again with these big relic pushes that i'm making i'm need going to need tons of carbonite tons of bronzium wiring so we, we've got to keep manufacturing that stuff as well as the high level relic materials it all has to come together fleet store we're just buying zetas or occasionally feeding the shard shop everything else is going into the shard shop i don't have anything else prepared for this week's update uh, we've talked a lot about the future plans in the last few videos, even the long-term planning. And uh, so that's set up and, and thinking about what the next steps are. We've been buying the Hermit Yoda out of the shop and almost have him unlocked um, and, and started now. So not, not really a whole lot more different long-term planning. The next few weeks is just going to be, you know, grinding out these relic levels, continuing on the journey. We've got to see what happens with this end of the uh, week this week will be, you know, week uh, game week four, game 12 of the new Grand Arena series, and we'll get promoted up, hopefully, uh, to Chromium. And then we need to see how we stabilize in Chromium. That will probably lead to a lot more account planning and other things at that point in time. But for now, we're just going to sit tight, work through till the next uh, Grand Arena, and uh, then maybe in the next cycle, we'll have to make some planning if they go back to 3v3s and doing that kind of stuff. So stay tuned. Stay in touch. We'll see what happens in the next few weeks. Thank you for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Remember to use your like saber. Hit that like button on the way out if you haven't already. That helps get these videos some attention. It'll help with the goals. If it helps me get subscribers, it can help you guys win prizes right now. Remember, we got these contests going on for the next few months. So uh, join us over on Discord. Be part of that. And uh, thank you all for watching. See you in the next Holocron.